Now this shows you a tutorial of um, the shape tween animation technique which is also called as the morphing animation technique. Now this animation technique allows you to change from one shape to another. So it basically requires a pure vector shape for objects to animate. So it works by defining a starting shape and an ending shape then Flash creates a transformation for the intermediate frames. So this animation technique deconstructs a shape and rebuilds a series of brand new shapes with each successive frame. So this is how to do it. So basically you can just create um, your object that you wanted to transform. But your object has to be a shape. Okay. So let's say for example I'm going to draw a heart for example. So I'm just going to make use of the merge drawing modes so that thereby we are creating a shape. So I'm just going to choose this color here. Okay, say so click, 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 and click. And I'm just going to convert this points to curve. So I sample that one. Okay, and twist it. If you just want to further adjust the nodes that you have, Okay, you can just fix it, right? And then you can fill it in. Okay, now try to check. So as you can see, when you click it, you can see that the property is a shape. So we already have one shape. So let's say from this heart, I want to change this to a, to a star. So let's say I want to set the duration of the transformation, let's say on frame 50, you insert another keyframe, let's say insert a keyframe, and then you change this one from hard, it would be, let's say, a star. So you could then delete, okay, on the 50th frame, delete this um, object, okay, so delete that shape. So let's say we're going to draw another object, which is a star. I'm just going to use a polystar tool, oops, okay, and, okay, look at the property section. You have here tool settings, options. So I'm just going to choose here star, click OK, and I want it to change my color. Let's say I'm just going to use this um, orange one, okay, and I'm going to get rid of the stroke. And then you can draw now your shape, right, Then you can just put your star in the center of the stage so that it won't be cropped when you preview it. So here in frame 1 we have here a heart, and in frame 50 we have here a star. Let's say from a star, we want to change it into another shape. Let's say I want to change it to a cloud. So let's say on the 100th hundred, hundred frame, you can insert another keyframe. So just right click, or you can press F6, or you can just right click, insert keyframe. And okay, you, ne you need to delete this star on the 100th frame and replace it with another shape. So just delete that. And you can draw another shape, let's say oval just going to make use of, let's say, this blue one here because I want to draw uh, a cloud. Okay, so you try to draw your shape. Right, so this is my cloud. Ding, okay. Now when you select your cloud, you can see that it's also a shape. So in this example, we already have three shapes. So first frame, we have here the heart. Okay, on the 50th frame, we have here the star and then on the hundredth frame we have here the cloud so to transform this we need to right click in between the keyframes and then just choose the create shape tween right so right click create shape tween so here to preview this particular scene you can just press um, control alt and then enter and then you could see that your shape is now transforming so that's the tutorial of creating a morphing animation technique or the shape tween animation technique. Changing from one shape to another. As, as you could see, we, we missed one step of the tween. You should not convert your objects to a symbol, so it should remain as a shape. So in that way, you could do this animation technique.